Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today in this video, we will be downloading top five crazy Android app for 2024. This is a part one series. I've done, recently done one of those top must have Android app for 2024 up to part seven. And now we are starting completely brand new series. So if you are new to the channel, consider subscribing and smash that like button as well. And thank you so much for my viewers and subscriber who's been helping this channel grow fast. I really appreciate that one. And everything will be in a link in the description below for you guys. And for disclaimer purpose, this video is for education purpose only. Let's move on. And number one is called Huawei App Gallery. So Huawei App Gallery is one of the best alternative for your Play Store. And it is safe to download. You can get anything over there. That means whatever you can uh, get from your Play Store, you'll be able to get it. If you don't want to use a Play Store for some reason, guess what? You have an alternative app store. You can download anything here, It'll provide an APK file, and you should have to install it as well from there. And if you're installing for the first time, please make sure you check your install unknown apps. So that, been, uh, that means once you install for the first time, it obviously will ask you for check one of those and you can obviously install it. And if you have already installed an app before, you don't have to go through the hassle. And then once you have done, you are ready to go. You can select whatever you like. For instance, if I want to get something from category as well, I can get anything from here. So food and drinks, lifestyle, navigation, social, sports, tools, travel, anything like that. And if in the top section, if you don't want to look for anything, you just want to download whatever is provided, guess what? You can go select whatever you like and you should be able to get it as well. And in the me section, it's all only your section, which is if you are logged in with the different accounts, and then obviously you will be able to, you know, um, save everything in the one section. So that's the cool thing about this app. Now, number two, it is another app store called Neo Store. So Neo Store, it is a crazy, crazy app. Why? It because it provides you lots of apps. If for some what reason. You don't want to use Play Store and you don't want to use the Huawei App Gallery. Guess what? You have another alternative app store you can download from. There are a whole lot of uh, apps you can get it from here as well. Uh, if you are in some places that you cannot find in a certain apps, guess what? You will be able to get this type of app from this app store as well. So, and this is a very good uh, app store. I personally use it. And there's a couple of section here. This is Explore, Latest, uh, Explore. Again, it has a similar categorized uh, with different things as well. You can select it whatever you like. And or if you just want to search any sort of app, you can go tap it in search and you'll be able to search it as well. In the home section. So this is one of the beauty of this app is Whatever you have installed, you can update it as well. You can see there's an updated section here. Whatever you have installed, if then update, it goes up on the top. If you have already installed, it goes on the bottom. And if you have somehow downloaded any sort of APK file on your device and you must have forgotten or, you know, you don't know where you kept it, you go in the download, download section and you can select it, whatever you want to install it as well. So this is a great, great app to install and you're going to love this one. And if, by the way, guys, if you are new to the channel, and it's consider subscribing and smash the like button and share with your friends and family members too. So they're going to enjoy this type of app. Okay, so number three is called 5G only. So this is one of the crazy app. Why? Because it will give you a 5G network access if your device supports it and if your plan supports it or if your area supports 5G network. So there's, all, there's a catch in there. So if you, you want to hear this one. If you are one of those person who wants to use 5G network constantly all the time, you don't want to get dropped out from 5G to 4G. Guess what? You can do that. The downside here is depending on the device, depending on the region, depending on your, like the location as well, your device might not receive a phone call. But once you set network for 5G only, it will only look for 5G network. So this is the one good part of it. But again, depending on your enhanced device, I would, I would suggest you to use it on your own risk. And I'll show you the instruction here. I don't have any SIM card on this device, so I cannot show you at the moment. For a instant for an instruction, you see, so click in a 5G network, and then obviously select what SIM you want to provide, one or two, and then obviously you need to select, set the preference network type, what type of network preference you want to go, LTE, um, WCDMA or whatever. Make sure you select NR only and then not the rest of the section. And then once you set it, you press set and then you will constantly get a 5G if that area supports a 5G. I'm not giving you any 5G network here, by the way. If you have given it a try and if you think this works, comment down below as well. And then let's see what it comes to. Number four is called 
M A so A M A Z E. So you must be thinking, what's the good good thing about it? this? Is a great file manager. You must have a file manager pre-installed in device. But what it does, and this is in particular this one. This is first is open source as well. So that means I always recommend everybody to give it a try for the open source. Any sort of open source that is a very good project. A lot of people work behind the scene, and then obviously we need to appreciate their hard work and a lot of things that you can get out of the box and open source things as well. So let's move on to this one. So this MAs, or oh, I could be pronouncing it wrong, by the way, it is a great file manager. It will give you every single thing, whatever you need in file manager plus an add-on. So if you go three dot menu, you can see, you can set the folder name, whatever you like, quick access, recents, all this thing. And then you can see here as FTP server as well. So file FTP stands for file transfer protocols and then Wi-Fi P2P, obviously, you know, and then if you wanna if you wanna set up a file transfer server from your device, that means you wanna, uh, for example, if you are sharing a folder to somebody else or to yourself as well on your device, guess what you can do this way as well. So you can get a port number and whatever share path you wanna set up to. And once you press it, it will provide you a link. You go type it in and voila, you got a file transfer uh, for yourself as well. So you're hosting your own server in a different way. So, and again, again, you can see what port you wanna go. So there are a whole lot of things you can get access of, and you can see in terms of stories rather than everything, you get a, a very, very clean looking file manager. I want you to give it a try. This is a good file manager I've been using for a, quite a while as well. I've used a multiple file manager. This is a good one. So you can see APKs, it will actually look for APK file as well if you have downloaded any sort of APK file. And if you go uh, documents, it will look just for documents. If you have downloaded audio, you're just gonna look for audio. So it's it's it, it's more or less a categorized version of file manager, which is supposed to be a great file manager. Yes, your stock does the same, but this does in a different level and it is fast and the copy and file transfer is pretty quick as well. So I want you to give it a try and you can comment down below if you like it or not. Now, number five, but not the last is called a Microsoft Swift key. Yes, there might be a lot of uh, keyboard out there, Gboard, uh, your stock Android keyboard. Out of those, I'll tell you why this is the good one. If you, one thing is you can sign in, but you can see I haven't signed in. You can sign in, you get a whole different lot of features like a theme and everything. And if you just want to give it a try, you can give it a try as well. It has a AI built-in assistance, AI assistant built into the keyboard itself. There are multiple AIs out there. So I think if you're not familiar with ChatGPT, then you there's um, Copilot as well. There's obviously Llama as well, which is Facebook one. They're a whole different AI model, but out of those, uh, Microsoft actually supports Copilot. So if you are a Windows user, you know what I'm talking about. So having a Copilot on your device and on your keyboard is one of the good things. I'll give, give you a demonstration here. First, I'll show you the keyboard layout. And then if you press this three dot mini here, you'll be able to see multiple things like sign-ins, voice typing, settings, layout, incognito mode, resize, theming, mods, auto-correction, emoji, editor, share. You can do a whole lot of things. And you can see on the top as well, you can get GIF as well. You can get document copy paste, this general stuff. But if you see that one, that's a copilot. So copilot is, as I mentioned before, it is an AI assistant. And if you sign in, you get more. If you don't sign in, you still get access of having a copilot built in. So you can see here, I can just type whatever I like. And then you can, they, if you have ever used copilot, you can, you know how cool it is. You can get a different uh, latest and greatest uh, information from Copilot that is linked up to date as well. So not like chat GPT, unless you are on a premium plan, this is technically free, uh, you know, getting a voice assistant or AI assistant for yourself as well. So this is one of the cool thing of having that Swift key. So you're gonna love this one. And I want you to give it a try and then comment down below as well if you like this type of video, guys. So, And by the way, guys, if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing and thank you so much for watching. And then this is Genius Sack 6 signing out. Peace.